Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design this machine part in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. And for this, first you go to new, part, solid, assign the proper name and say ok. Now to design this kind of part, first you create all add material features and then you go for remove material feature. So let's create this base feature first and for this go to extrude onto the top datum plane. Normal, switch up the datum, draw center line, somewhere here and here. Now add the rough sketch first. So I'll draw one circle here, one circle here. I'll mirror this circle. Now draw the line from here till here, from here till here. Then from here till here and from here till here. Go for delete segment, delete this segment and this segment. Now start adding the required dimension. One dimension I need from here to here, another one from here to here, then this dimension and this dimension. Now to modify this dimension, go to modify. Start adding all the dimensions one by one. Uncheck it, drag it down and start modifying all your dimensions from here. So this is 110, this is 100, this is 15 and this is 35. Say OK and say OK. Now the thickness is 7. And say OK. So my base feature is done. Now I'll go with this feature. And for this, go to extrude, select the top surface, draw the circle. Just like this. Now this is 20 and say OK. Now the height is 3, this one. So take 3 here and say OK. Now the next feature I will create is this one. And for this go to extrude, come to this surface, right click and select the bottom surface. Draw the circle here. Now this is dia 30. Say OK. Flip the direction. Uncheck Remove Material. Now this is 88. And say OK. Now the next feature is this feature. And for that go to Extrude. Switch on your datum. Select this datum plane. Normal. Draw the line. Start from here. Come this side. Go this side. Then this side, then this side, then here, then come down, come till here and close it. Say OK. Make it symmetry. Now the thickness is 8. And say OK. So this is done. Now the next feature is this feature. And for that go to extrude. Select this top surface. Draw the circle. Now this is 44, say OK. Now the height is 23, make it 23 and say OK. Now the next feature is this feature and for this first we need to create a datum plane. So switch on your datum plane, select this datum, go for datum, drag it this side, this side it is 100, say OK. Go for extrude, normal, draw a circle somewhere here, add few lines from here till here and from here till here and close this. Go for delete segment, remove these two segments. Now this is 10 
and this is 10. Say OK. Extrude it 28. Uncheck this and say OK. Now the next feature is this rib and for this go to rib, select profile rib, switch on your datum, select this datum plane, normal, draw the sketch from here, this side, add the dimension from here till here, this is 42 and say ok. Downwards, the thickness is 8 and say OK. So, my all add material features are done. Now, I will go for remove material feature. So, first I will create this hole and for this go to hole, switch on your center axis, select this surface, press and hold control key and select this center axis. Now, this is 18 and this is through all. Similarly, select this surface, go to hole, press and hold control key and select the center axis. This is 12 and this is through all. Same thing here also, hole, press and hold control key, select this axis, make it through all. This surface, hole, center axis, this is 30 and this is through all. Now we have one more hole here, this one, this is a standard hole M10 and for this I need a center axis here, but we do not have any center axis. So, we will just modify this feature, we will go inside the sketch and add a datum point somewhere here to get a center axis. Now, you are getting a center axis here. Now, you go to hole, standard hole, select M10, this one, select this face, press and hold control key and select this axis. Now, here it is 2 next. and say ok. So, you are getting a standard node for standard hole. Now, the next feature is this round and for this go to round, select this edge and this edge, this is 10 and say ok and your part is done. Now, if you want to add these dimensions, the way it is given here, then you can go to annotate and you can use either show annotation or dimension. So, when you use show annotation, you can directly call all the model driven dimension to this part like this, you can reposition it. If you go for dimension, you can recreate all the dimensions here, but while recreating the dimension, you need to be careful with the orientation. So, if you go for dimension and try to add this dia, it will come like this because the orientation is wrong. So, to get the proper dimension, you must reorient your sketching plane. So, in this case, you must select top datum plane and then go for dimension. Now, you will get the proper dimension. Similarly, if you are trying to create this dimension, then you must have right datum plane, dimension, select this center line, press and hold control key, select this center line and then you can place this dimension like this. So, this is the way to recreate all the dimensions, but when you go for show annotation, then you will get all your dimension the way you have created inside your part. For example, if I select this, I am getting this dimension here. It is coming somewhere here. but if you want this dimension to be placed somewhere here, then you cannot move it because the sketch is created somewhere here. 
so it will come there only now you can add this 3d dimension in your drawing also and for that go for new drawing say okay now first you add your isometric view just like this now to add this 3d dimensions in this isometric view first you go to file prepare drawing properties change and here you find 3d this one you make it yes and now you go to annotate show model annotation and start selecting all the features one by one you will get these dimensions automatically you can reposition it wherever you want just like this now to change the appearance go to view appearance select the proper appearance come down here select the part and select the part one more time appearance select another appearance intent surface select all the machined surface and say enter and your appearance got changed so that's it from this video this was a machine part in creo parametric and i hope this video will be helpful now you can like this video if you find this video helpful you can subscribe my channel and i will see you in my next video thank you